I'm Sheehan Shannon and this is the Evening Highlights. Prime Minister Dr. Sri Najib Razak says there's no truth to allegations that Trouble One MDB owes an Abu Dhabi wealth fund close to half a million US dollars. Najib, who also holds the Finance Ministry portfolio, chairs One MDB's advisory board. He said in a written reply in Parliament to MP for PJ Uttara Tony Poir that the state fund did not owe Abu Dhabi's IPIC such an amount, citing One MDB's 2014 financial statement. The debt may not have been stated in 1MDB's financial statement, but it certainly was in IPIC's. Poir later spoke to the press in the parliament lobby. He was not convinced. Sebagai Menteri Kewangan dan 1MDB yang menjadi anak syarikat penuh kepada Kementerian Kewangan, kita perlu mendapatkan penjelasan sama ada hutang itu wujud ataupun tidak. Dan kalau tidak, IPIC perlu mengeluarkan kenyataan bahawa itu merupakan satu kesalahan dalam laporan audit mereka. Kita tak boleh biarkan laporan audit yang dibuat oleh IPIC ada hutang, laporan audit yang dibuat oleh 1MDB tak ada hutang. Cannot be. In 2012, IPIC had guaranteed a 3.5 billion US dollar bond issued by 1MDB to finance its purchase of power plants around the world. In return, IPIC was to receive options to buy a 49% share in the plants as well as collateral for the bond. The opposition pact has called into question several ambiguous allocations set aside for the Prime Minister's department under Budget 2016. The new spending plan saw resources for key sectors slashed while the PMO gets about 1 billion ringgit extra. Of the entire 20.3 billion allocated for the PMO, 8.5 billion ringgit will be set aside for vague-sounding projects, such as rearranging society, a facilitation fund and special projects. No further details were provided. Kami senaraikan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 item dalam peruntukan pembangunan uh, Jabatan Perdana Menteri di mana tajuk-tajuk yang ditunjuk sini, kalau saudara-saudari baca, Memang tak faham apa maknanya. MP for Shah Alam Khalid Samad was harsher. Ya, semalam saya telah uh, bertanya di dalam parlimen semasa Datuk Seri Wan Azizah berucap adakah uh, uh, apa ini, jumlah bajet Jabatan Perdana Menteri ini uh, boleh digunapakai sebagai kayu ukur untuk nak uh, menilai sokongan yang ada pada uh, Perdana Menteri sendiri ya, uh, dalam barisan nasional. Ya. Maknanya bila sokongan terhadap Perdana Menteri ini kuat, uh, dia punya jumlah dia kecil pun tak apa. Ya? Uh, tapi bila sokongan uh, tu uh, semakin lemah, maka tiap-tiap tahun uh, ianya bertambah dan uh, dia punya klasifikasi perbelanjaan dia tu menjadi semakin uh, jerebu. Ya? Budget 2016's allocation for the PMO is more than 7% of total expenditure, the highest ever for the department. In contrast, there were major cuts to other sectors such as education, while transport and power subsidies were also slashed. RHB Capital will be trimming nearly 12% of its workforce, and that's after some 1,800 employees applied for its voluntary separation scheme. It will be paying out about 309 million ringgit. The banking group said in a statement today that with the completion of the exercise, it's looking at saving 193 million ringgit a year. The employees who taken up the offer make up 11.8% of RHB CAP's entire workforce of 15,348. It says the number of applicants were actually much bigger, but it was only able to let go the 1,800-odd staff in view of the group's business requirements. These employees will be released in batches between November this year and January 2016. This comes after CIMB's MMS exercise in Malaysia and Indonesia. The lender cut 11% of its workforce in the two countries and will pay out about 443 million ringgit to these employees. The resultant savings is estimated to be about 291 million ringgit a year. London-based property consultancy firm Knight Frank says Malaysians have invested 5.6 billion US dollars in developed countries over 24 months. That's from the third quarter of 2013 to the second quarter of this year. According to a report it released recently, the UK was a favourite, with Malaysians investing 2.2 billion US dollars there. 
Australia trailed with local investors pouring 1.4 billion US dollars into the continent. Intercontinental Europe saw an inflow of 1 billion US dollars in capital, while the US also received 1 billion US dollars in investment. And before we bring the evening highlights to a close, Malaysia Airport's Holdings Berhad or MEHB says net profits skyrocketed to 68.5 million ringgit in its third quarter. That's up from 1.6 million in the last corresponding quarter of financial year 14. Details in the Edge Financial Daily tomorrow. I'm Sheen Shannon. Thanks so much for watching and good night.